right here and this little guy can come off and now you can use it for a Honda it's got some coating on it informal coating I still left my VVD I2 in. Okay. Maybe I can get it on camera. Having Honda immobilizer rings is extremely handy. And so the AR is already open. I am going to switch up the device type to 24C. It, yeah, it was O2. It's a lot of oxygen. Be all the way to the right, the clip goes. Which I already use from a different greeting. So. And it's not reading it. Okay, I'm going to reclean it. Whenever you clean, depending on what chemical you use, you can leave the informal coating kind of gummy. So whenever you flip it onto it, your adapter can get gummy as well. That's why it's sometimes wise just to give your adapter a nice brushing gently. Just to kind of Take away some of that residual and a phone call. Now, hopefully, I can establish connection to this and I can read the information. Was I clicking onto the wrong leg? I think I was. Okay. Secure. Trying to hit G now. Still nothing. What? I am going to escape and escape. And I'm going to reopen AR. My computer did go to sleep. Hope it lights green. Aha! I knew it. Okay. Connection to AR was not working properly because I let my computer sleep with it run running so there it goes now it's powered up properly um, put my board back on see it really good now.
cut it. My silly mistake exacerbated the issue. Okay, so press any key to continue. Okay, it's gonna be Acura V1 Ben. DVDI2 real quick. data tool and it's already on Acura I think mine is a TL so I gotta find the proper uh, information 24 COC or 04 look now I'm gonna look for the file it's not here so it's gonna be in my EEPROM Probably. Yes, Acura V1, unknown version. Enter. See if we can find a different model that maybe we can use. I'm going to go to Honda. And see if Accord has it see if a cord will accept it yep and there it's accepted under 2002 Honda Accord showing three keys used have this transponder and so what I am going to do is make a dealer key and you can see it shows the bytes, the EEPROM device and the type of the original transponder and that was a success hit OK I'm gonna get Acura again but I'm gonna back it out to V2 and save now let's load it up and look at it go to V2 and now it shows four keys in use and we could now write a uh, fifth key if we wanted to or we could overwrite keys one through uh, three and all the keys out in the world would no longer work to this car. So it's still clipped. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Actually, let's read the transponder now. I haven't moved it. It's still in the coil of my VVDI2. <clears throat> Should be opening. Okay. Now we're gonna auto detect it real quick and see what it says. It is now locked. It once was unlocked, now locked, which indicates success in my opinion. Okay, so and now we can 
program this straight from the screen. And we just have to hit one to pull up uh, the option and then type in Acura V2 dot bin, which is the file name, enter, and it'll say program or skip, and you just hit P. It'll program and verify it. And see? Programming's now done. We don't need another, and so now we're going to go and clear this. And we're going to hit G to read it in. Boom. And what I'll do now is escape and we're gonna go to D and we're just gonna load up the original one Acura so I'm gonna load it to the buffer F4 it's loaded I'm gonna hit 5 and there it is and so now I hit 8 this is what was on it to begin with before it ever entered my hands and I'm gonna compare it with what is on it now which should be a completely different file. So we should get errors. And we do. And we can hit C, or yes first, and then C to continue through the errors. And that is where the VVDI modified it. So this can go back in a car or wherever. Somebody could even adapt it to fit um, inside of a, a new car, like a Honda Civic or something like that. So, it's just really what you want to do with it, your choice. Rewrite the uh, the VIN that's inside of it so that you can match it.